Welcome back. Okay, so I made a little boo-boo in my edgy glamour video. You cannot make one edgy look like another edgy. Sorry about that. So now for the big guys. No, this is important for all job players, not just summoners. More on this in a bit. When a summoner hits 90, the summon Ifrit, Titan, and Garuda upgrade automatically, and instead of itty bitty edgies, you summon the actual primals. Okay, not the actual primals, but they look a lot more like them. You get Ruby Ifrit, Topaz Titan, and Emerald Garuda. Just rolls off the tongue. You cannot glamour these summons, but you can change their size, as well as Bahamut and Phoenix. Like the pet glamour command, the pet size command has three parts. The command itself, slash pet size, the summon you wish to change, and the general size you want it to be when you summon it, small, medium, or large. When you run this command, it will not affect the summon until the next time it is summoned. Now you can make a macro that sets each summon to a different size according to your own preferences if you like. However, the most useful feature is you can use all in place of the summon name. This will set all summons to a particular size, so you can make all the summons super big, or itty bitty, or in between. For reference, here is Bahamut in small, medium, and large. And here's Phoenix. And here we see the various sizes of Ifrit, Titan, and finally Garuda. Now for the bad news, or is it the good news? Guess it depends on your point of view. The size command only affects what you see on your screen. So if you set all your summons to small, everyone else may still be seeing them large. So if you are a bard and are sick of seeing Titan's huge ass, uh, I'm huge ass. It's up to you to use the pet size command to set him to small. To be clear, pet glamours are the choice of the summoner. Everyone else will see what you choose for your carbuncle or your edgies. Pet size is the choice of the observer, meaning every player. So whatever you set the size to, it will be the same for the summons of every summoner you see. As a side note, if you still find the spell effects to be too distracting, let me point out the battle effects settings. These are found in the character configuration in the control settings section under the character tab. This not only reduces visual effects, but also sound effects, which can be very helpful in large groups. I am glad they give us these features, but I would still like the option of changing the big summons to carbuncles or their respective edgy forms. It might also be nice to change summons to other forms. An easy one would be to change Garuda to the Final Fantasy XV version, which is already in the game. If they aren't going to give us other summons like Shiva, Bismarck, or Ramu, maybe make those available as glamours as well. In this game, you can spend a lot of time playing content below your level, and that can drastically change what actions you have access to. When practicing on a dummy at 90, you can only see the big summons. In any content below 90, you will have your edgies back. There is no convenient way I know of to play around with the edgy glamours once you reach 90. I think the game should have an option to set your level lower while in the world, much like you can in the MMO Rift. This would let people practice with their reduced action sets and allow level 90 summoners to play with their edgy glamours. An easier solution might be just to make level sync work in explorer mode which allows you to summon practice dummies in dungeons with no enemies around. You can set level sync with explorer mode if you also select undersized party, but it doesn't actually sync. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Goodbye.